Hey, campus Georgia, back in the man cave. Yeah, and the boss, who's upset with me, so she's ignoring me. Look at her. Got an attitude today. You know how bosses are. Anywho, what we're looking at today is this guy. It's an oldie. It's a sack. Let's check it out. So I came across this guy, Swap. And you can see it's kind of sort of beat up. Things like this. The blade sticking out. Not good. A little rusty. It has a bail. Something I thought was really unusual. And, I, and uh, then I opened up the blade. And it says Victorinox, Switzerland. Stainless, rust-free, rust-free. See that there? Here it is here. This is the info. The problem that I had is I can't find one <laughs> that looks like this, that has a bail. And I'm going to search some more. If I find the info, I'll put it up here. Um, but this one, unusual, right away, the bale. Now, as you can see, the bale is coming off. Um, it's missing these little accessory things, and this scale is broken, which just happens to be very convenient. <laughs> uh, I need to fix that. But if you look at the way the bale is mounted, you got to take the bale off, clean off these, so that you can get get the scale off. So that's going to be interesting. Fortunately, looking around and digging in my got for free stuff from you guys, I have two scales. They just happen to be the right size. The only problem is no hole for the bail. But I think we can figure that out. You know, line them up, mark them, drill them. Uh, the, this pin out, which kind of, to be honest, makes me nervous. It really means that when you start doing stuff like that, you, you're probably going to lose the warranty on it. Uh, they frown on that when you start taking things apart. It does have... <coughs> an old toothpick, which I'm not sure I want to put that in my mouth, but we can clean it up and use it for Justin because I have others. So let's uh, look at what this guy's got because, you know me, trying to figure out these things. Is very traumatic for me. So here's, here's the main blade and if you look at it right away the shape. Here's my one I got from Tom's Day Off in Germany. Uh, he has a channel out there and he sent me this. Thank you Tom. I wear it every day now. Look what you did. But look at the blade on this one. See that? And then look at the shape of this one. Now it's probably, it was probably modified. Uh, it's been sharpened and whatever. They almost wanted to make it more of a drop point, which I thought was unusual. You got scissors right there. A little rusty as you can see. A littler blade. Now this gets even more interesting. Look at that. They almost wanted to make this, it looks like, a clip, right? Look at that. Kind of weird. Now, I don't know if they did that or the person who owned it did that. That's okay. Here, we have the can opener, I think. The scissor spring is toast. We can get that. This is really tight. It's really rusty and hard to get out. It has a saw. Are we getting closer to what it is? Huh? I don't know. 
and then it has the screwdriver. Oh, yes, it has the awl. But I want to show you this one. You see how it's got, it's been reshaped. It's like it's got a blade on it. Look at the way this one is. Compared to this one. Let me see if we can show them together. See that? This one, no hole. This one has a hole. They're about the same, kind of, sort of. But interestingly enough, the other side is flat. On this one, it's been ground both sides. I found my problem. When I was looking at this guy, I thought, without thinking about it, this was a saw. It's not. It's a fishing tool. See there? It's a fisherman. 91 millimeter. So we're ahead of the game there. Now we can play. Okay, so here is where we are. Now I have, like I said, I have scales and I have some extras. Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> Could have to clean that. So let's get this apart. Got to get the bale off. Got to clean out that pin and get it out without damaging anything. And of course, keeping it together. So let's go. So first off, I'm, I'm not too worried about damaging these when I take, take them off. As long as I can still measure where that hole needs to be on here, we're good. So I'm going to get this out of the way and I'm going to grind that down with my D for Dremel. If in doubt, use another sack. Boom. Gotcha. Wow. If you want. really nervous about taking this pin out. We're in luck. Doesn't have that on it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this pin down level with this. I don't want this whole thing coming apart. Then I'm going to cut this off and take the other side off and then we can get the the scales off and see where we are. Okay, we got the bale off without too much trauma. <laughs> I want to knock that back out there. Really worried about this coming apart. And there we are. Okay, we got enough to mark there. Oh, the hole is bigger because it's broken. So we've got that mark there. Right. Here we go. All right, we have two marks.
close enough though, I think. All right, let's clean this up. So I have it sitting in the nasty stuff here. I, not a, you know I'm not a big fan of this stuff, but it's all I got. So I'm not too worried about the blades. It's the main piece, the main body that I want to get the rust going. Okay, I uh, dipped this and I've washed it off just with plain water. Uh, two things. I'm going to need a spring. I've got to find a spring I'll have to, I think you can order them uh, online so that we can get the scissors to work. <laughs> the other thing is this guy. On the bale, these holes are bigger than that. So I have to figure out a way uh, to make my pin spread enough to hold the bale. So what I'm going to do is try and spread one end quickly and make it spread enough so that the bale won't slip through. If I can get this one to work, then I know I can do it the other side. Um, if you remember on when I was on there, there was a slight gap on the bale. It moved a little bit, and I think that's the reason why is they had to make that little I want to say edge around here to keep the bale on. So I'm going to just tap it a little bit and let's see where we go. That'll work. Maybe a little bit more to get a little bit more grip, but it's not going to pull through there. It'll take a lot. But we can always make it a little bit rounder. So we'll have to cut this off a little bit uh, longer than normal so that we can get that edge, which means that the bale will move a little bit. So what I need to do is get rid of uh, as much of the heavy build up on it and uh, clean it up got to figure out this problem that it's sticking up above change the shape of the blade and I, if you look it's a little short than normal so looking at these two you can see uh, on this one the blade almost hits there this one is short by a lot. So that's what they did. So that means we're going to have to play with this. Oof. To get it to drop below there. It's not going to take much. It's going to have to touch this up a bit. Uh, having looked at this, how low these springs are at the back here. I think if you look, one of the reasons is you've got this guy here. So the spring has to go underneath him for it to work. So you can see it's low there as well. So I think they just made them the same. So we're going to go with the pencil first to get rid of the heavy stuff. And there's not a lot of it. I just want to clean up the important spots. When I was dating this, I didn't realize that here is that info I showed you. See that? That info there says Victorinox Switzerland Stainless Rotisserie. Now there's two kinds to that. Both of them have this, but on the other side it's blank which is a different date, but this one is not blank. See that? It says Victoria Officer Swiss. Different date, and this is it's here. So very cool. Let's get this guy going.
Now I've also noticed if you look along the edges here, it's pretty dinged up. I've noticed that on both sides. Can you see that? It's kind of rough. There's a couple of parts there. I think I'm just going to clean those off. The other blades, make sure there's nothing on the blades. The blades are pretty clean. They, I think a lot of it was just dirt. Oh, there's some there. Let's give it a little rub. Just to give it some help. I am going to touch these up with a thousand grit. Just very slightly to give them a little bit more shine. Yeah. Okay, let's polish it up. Oh yeah, much better. Hook sharpener, nail file. Did I tell you about that? On the back of the screwdriver there's a nail file or hook sharpener, I suppose. Okay, it's a little bit brighter now, so uh, <laughs> now we got to look at that blade. We've got to get it to drop down, so we're going to have to do some filing. Yeah. to try and stay level here. And try not to hit the blade, George. I wonder if that made any difference. Not much. <laughs> okay, so initially... I filed this down and I actually filed down quite a lot and it was still sticking up. Okay. Then I thought, well, it's probably <laughs> because it should be more of a spear point than a drop point. Now it still looks like a drop point, but I've actually brought this down further so that the tip is further down the blade. So there you go. So we got that taken care of. I just got to clean up the top there where I was filing. And then let's put it together, <laughs> he says. So now comes <laughs> the hard part. Here you can see I've put the scales on. Okay. And you can see the pins there. Now, the trick is this, I have to knock that pin through. Now, if you look carefully, I actually just made it a little pointy because I want to knock this pin through while pushing the other one out. What I don't want is these things to come out. We got it through. <laughs> okay, so we got it through. So now we've got to push it all the way. Like that. Now you can see what I was talking about with the bale had a little gap in it. You see it right there? I don't know if it should be tight. It has to be tight. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem here. So the plot thickens. I've got to cut that off. And make sure it's real tight. Hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Well, 
that was traumatic. And here it is here. You see it there. Uh, these scales were actually not new. They were used ones that were sent to me in a mail call. They're in really good condition. Almost new. Uh, the, the bale <laughs> was a tough one and I still feel I don't have it right. The problem is, is that I'm, I'm not sure how they, they do this and I need to maybe tighten it up more because the small blade wobbles just a little bit. No, I don't like that. And, but I'm having a real problem trying to get it really tight. But I'll work on it. The other thing is obviously the scissors. Uh, I did find spring uh, springs for them online. So I actually ordered three <laughs> for Justin. Just in case I need them again, we'll have them. I did uh, give them a cleanup on the blades. I just used the uh, ceramic rod, touched them up. They didn't need any more than that. So you can see the blades there. They cleaned up uh, really well. Uh, but these always do. I found that with these guys, uh, you can make them a real sharp and shiny very easily. They, for some reason, they're stainless really keeps a good shine. So, like I said, uh, this is a fisherman. <laughs> I, you know, I, I didn't even think about it. I just saw this blade and thought it was a saw. That's why I was confused. And I was looking online and I was like, I'm not finding this. And then I realized it's a fishing tool. <laughs> My bad. So there you go. And, uh, I told you about the uh, the tang stamp, so the date was different. I'll just uh, clear that up. Um, I really like the way this turned out, and you know what? It's it's pretty cool. It's unusual because it has that, and it's a fisherman. I did not know they made them. Oh, and I did have um, a set that matched uh, tweezers, and of course toothpick all I had was black so <laughs> that's what you get uh, I really like this idea I didn't notice it before the file on the back of the screwdriver which is handy it's not it's not just you know cleaning up your nails uh, you can use that to sharpen your fishing hooks so very cool another good one I'll just waiting for the spring and I'll replace that and we've all set I have me another sack Whew. Growing. Started off with a tinker I found at a special price and thought, huh, let me see what these are all about. The humanity. <laughs> Down that rabbit hole and here I am. But still enjoying it. So there you go. You will be safe out there. Especially with sharp and shinies. Even when you're fishing, you never know. You know, you take it out, you cut something, you're not paying attention. Oops in the middle of in a boat somewhere and you're like ah, not good <laughs> just say don't forget like share subscribe you know the story pretty sure i'll be back look i have no they're not sacks <laughs> told you i've been working on projects and i i oopsed on a couple of them uh, this is one of them you see here this should have uh, either the screwdriver or a corkscrew. It actually came with the corkscrew and the corkscrew was all bent and kind of messed up and it should have a bail. Um, when I try to fix the corkscrew, it snapped. So there you are. <laughs> it's not a sack. This is, believe it or not, oh, there we are really hard to see it's a colonial so now that i have parts and whatnot this is a uh overseas junker if you know what i mean it has that in it and this thing cost me a blistering two bucks it also has uh tools in it you know it's a to me this is a true junker <laughs> I'll use it for spare parts. Maybe the springs will work, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching.
always appreciated. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.